So when I talk about uh, when I talk about about this to my to my uh, faculty members, I don't talk about being arrested um, because they don't see that happening to them. I talk about things like Rebecca referred to earlier, the violation of confidential peer review processes, both for the work they've submitted for publication and in their proposal applications. I, we talk about protecting their ideas, period protecting their IP so that people are not filing patents ahead of them if what they have is a patented idea, a patentable idea. But we also talk about the reason they are doing biosketches and current pending support forms in the first place. Um, that you know, these the agencies need to be aware of the full breadth of the work they're doing. They need to know that the effort committed is appropriate for the work and doable based on the landscape of an individual researcher's uh, research program. Like, are they overcommitted just in their time? Are are they are are they already being paid for the work that they're propo being proposed to do? You know, so the 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 overlap of funding and effort is a very big piece of the review there, and something that's always been done. But I think it you know it just it, it deserves another reminder to some of our faculty members that those forms are not just forms, they're there for a reason. And a lot of it is to uncover possible overlaps of funding of federal taxpayer dollars, po possible overlaps of effort. And then also things like we've talked about already today, foreign talent programs, or do they belong to them? Do they have appointments at other institutions that both the institution, the grantee institution and the sponsoring agency need to know about? And you know, I'm, I'll say it again, the things that over overlap funding and effort are still a very big piece of this picture and not just things that are funded from organizations outside the US. Mm -hmm.